Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to crop and resize video using DaVinci 16. And for those who don't know, DaVinci is made by Blackmagic and there is a free version for both Mac, PC, and I believe Linux. So if you're trying to make a step up from iMovie or something else, this is something to kind of mess around with for free. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so we're currently on the edit screen here. This is the third icon to the right, and this is where you do the majority of your editing. And again, this is DaVinci 16, but it's good for 15, 14, and probably a couple of versions before that. What you're gonna do is drag a piece of video into the timeline. So let's just grab whatever here, and drag it in there, and then let it go. I'm gonna go ahead and unlink the clips and delete this audio here so I don't have to deal with it. We're gonna make this a little bit bigger so you can see what we're doing here. So we have a clip here and we're gonna crop and or resize it. First things first, the tools that you're gonna need are in the current location right here. We have transform and we have crop. Those are the two tools we're gonna look at today. First, let's look at transform. What transform does is it allows you to resize your video while maintaining that aspect ratio. If you want to resize it and stretch it, if you hold the shift key, it's going to allow you to stretch and make it kind of look ugly and out of aspect ratio. Let's go ahead and do command Z to get out of that or control Z on the Windows PC. Or you can also go to the edit menu and hit undo or redo depending on what you need to do. Alrighty, so that is the transform. Again, you're resizing the video, keeping the proportions the way they are, the aspect ratio unless you hold that shift key. So we're showing you here the, the easy, simple way to do it. Next, we're gonna show you the crop feature here. Go ahead, hit crop, and we're going to resize it. What DaVinci is gonna do here is we're actually losing part of the screen, okay, part of the video. So we're cropping it. You can crop in from any direction. Make it smaller, rectangular, square, whatever you wanna do. Once you've done your crop, and one thing to note is if you try to move this box around, you're moving your crop all around to the old video proportions, okay? So after your crop, if you want to move this around in its current state, you're going to have to switch your tool back to the transform. And then from here, you can actually move around. You can rotate it and do other things like that, okay? All right, so that's the basics. That's the easiest way to do cropping and to do transforming. When you get higher level editing tools, you usually you get some kind of inspector or something. So in the top right corner, go ahead and click on that inspector button here. And now we have a lot of options here that let us control with finer detail what's going on. I'm not gonna get too much into it here, but I'm gonna show you how to undo what we did. So the initial transform here, if you hit this button here, it's gonna let you undo. And if you go down to your cropping, let's exp go ahead and uh, undo that as well. So now we're back to our original state. So focusing on the transform area, the inspector here, you can actually see the changes that are being made as we do that. If we rotate, and you can also go in here and hold your left mouse and scroll left and right to do it on top of the numbers. You can rotate the angle. You can actually do pitch as well. Let's go ahead and pitch it a little bit. You can actually do yaw. You can flip it horizontally, vertically, and to remove all the changes you did, go ahead and hit the undo button here. If you want to do it slowly, you can do one at a time, but usually after I'm messing with it, I know I, I want to go all the way back to the beginning because I probably got too deep into the transforming of the, of the video or the image. Okay, for cropping, you have similar things here. You can use the slider itself. You can type in your number. You can actually scroll on top left to right to move that with your left mouse button held down. Same thing for the right. On top of the numbers here as well, left, right. Top you can crop, bottom you can crop. And you can also do softness, which does kind of like a vignette type look, so it's not as harsh. Again, if you want to undo, you can do individually, or you can just do a global undo here. And to close the inspector, go ahead and click on the button again. To open it, click on the button again. All right, that's how you do it. So let's go ahead and do an image. It's the same thing here. We'll drop the image on top here. Let me go ahead and resize here. 
So we have more room and you can kind of see what's going on. There we go. All right, so this image currently is full size. Again, if you want to do the simple way, just using the icons, just go ahead and here and put it on transform. We can resize it to what we want. We can rotate it on its axis this way. We switch the tool to cropping. We're starting to get to the point where we can actually remove part of the image. Again, when moving, it's going to move the actual rectangle itself or square, whatever shape you're on right now. But if you want to move the whole image in its current state, you want to go to transform and then it allows you to move the image around. It allows you to rotate, etc. Put it off the side, things like that, on the corner, whatever you want to do. To undo it, you could do undo, 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 but I would just open up the inspector, undo that, go to transform, undo that, and we're back to square one. So that's it. That's basically how you transform and crop video and images in Blackmagic's DaVinci Resolve 16. I want to thank everybody for watching. As usual, peace and aloha. We'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.